I am currently in a shelter. I did not see myself in a situation like this uh, for a long time. Oh, God, this is nerve-wracking. I was in a domestic violence situation, and I was promised by efforts that they would help me with housing. Um, I did hear what you were saying. How can we prevent homelessness? Well, if I had a shelter, a place to go, I could get a job and get out of this situation. But because oftentimes when you go to Virginia Williams, they do turn you down. They make you come back four to five different times. Uh, they're real insensitive, uh, not kind. They talk to you in a belittling way. And I'm already embarrassed enough. But if I had housing, and this is from a perspective of someone who is homeless currently. I have four children. I didn't expect to be in this situation. At one point, I was uh, working at a school. You know, um, now I'm not. I'm on TANF. Um, but if I had a place where my children can go that I felt was safe, then I could get out of the situation if, you know, I had somewhere to be. Um, addressing your issue where you said how to prevent it if there were more jobs available for single mothers, you know. I'm going to go after the fathers for child support. However, you know, I was told, you know, they were going to help me in efforts with housing after they collected all my information, my birth certificates and the TB test and everything. They told me they do not help with housing. Crime victims helped me with a hotel for 30 days, but it wasn't a sufficient amount of time for me to get on my feet. So I'm currently through Virginia Williams, but when I did go to Virginia Williams, I had staff members there tell me, oh my gosh, you know, they're sending people from everywhere, different states to come here. I don't understand why. You know, you should look for your own transitional housing. Everyone that you call for transitional housing, oh, we're full, you know, there's no space, or, you know, really, I took it upon myself to call uh, shelters in Northwest, because my children are in school in Northwest, and I found one that said they possibly had space for me. But um, they said, you know, you have to go and ask someone from Virginia Williams to help you to get in that placement. So I'm currently traveling two buses to from Northeast. Well, I'm, I'm really grateful for the accommodations that I have. But what I'm trying to say is that if you only give a person 30 days to bounce back on their feet, they really can't, especially if they're struggling with other issues and they have children and they have incompetent fathers who don't help. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Verdigas. We appreciate it. It's not easy to come here. It's no, it's embarrassing. And, I know. Yeah, and I had to run over here because I have one son who's gotten injured at school, and he has a neck brace <clears> on. <throat> but I wanted to make sure that I came today because I want you to hear my perspective. If a person has more time to get on their feet, it's not like I want to stay on TANF. I don't. Okay, and this is coming from someone who is on TANF. I want to have a decent place where I can have my children, but 30 days is not enough to bounce back. And I never reported a lot of my domestic abuse because I was afraid my kids would end up homeless. But because it happened to my son, I reported it. And I was promised I would get help, but once I gave all my information to efforts, they did not help me. And I ended up going to one hotel for 30 days, and now I'm in another hotel, hopefully, you know, but you cannot, you know, keep focused when you know you only have 30 days.